Well, I've been spending a lot of time down Compass just lately. Oh yeah, I went down a couple of nights ago. Um, did two nights with Frederick. Here is just hang about, listen to birds. But anyway, I've been doing this this winter shelter here, calling it Wagon Train, and I've just put a burner in it, and I'm just like testing it out, uh, just to see how hot it gets. I mean, all that is is fixed, so I don't know whether that will detect the heat. Anyway, I'll show you around that later. You know, you know, uh, I've got a little, you know, little bits to do to, to tweak it up, but I'll show you that. Uh, I don't need big fires really if you've got a burn on it, but like I say, I just you know trial and error, see how hot it will get. But, uh, I like it now. It's quite comfortable with that netted bed. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go around with camp and uh, I'll pan you around. Well, I'm just going to put all that uh, camo net in over here. I mean, I'm quite happy with that as, a, as it is for a build. And uh, in here, I mean, I've got me, I've got me burner. I'll place it into that bit there. Here, I'm going to have like a, a stable door. You know, cut it off about here. You know, what I mean, because most of the time your wind will come come this way. I mean, I've been down here four or four and a half years now. Most of the time, the wind heads this way. Uh, so I'm going to get a stable door on there and uh, I am testing this burner out, it, is, it does get warm in there but I'm, what I'm, this is just uh, off, off bits of fly sheets and that. Uh, this is out tarps now, that does get quite hot. So what it is, I'm just testing to see how, how much heat this will take. It has already got a few. Uh, burn holes in it because I've been testing it last time I was down here. But anyway, yeah, uh, in here, that bed, I love that bed. Uh, I've got a bit of a candle going in here, it is warm in here already. I, uh, I have been using this burner. Uh, it does draw a bit. But uh, I can leave with that because I'll uh, I'll just get a bit of a charcoal when winter, all them uh, nuggets when winter sets in. So anyway, I'm not getting stuff out yet because like there's loads of earwigs down here at the moment. So anyway, that's that. This here. Can it all be? put down for when it rains this one here that's saying that that can be all all put down in there uh, in layers but uh, I'm going to find a way so water you know don't come down here the obvious reason there is get a bit of a, a tarp up there like I did with, with wigwam but I'll, uh, I'll see anyway I'll bring you back this is going on a bit now I'll bring you back here uh, when I sort things out apart from that note change down here I've got about I made a few fire crumbles, uh, <laughs> just some fire logs, a bit of wax, uh, fat wood. I mean, it looks almost edible, that does. And stuff that uh, I'm bringing down there, I've got from, from other folk. It's a lovely day. So anyway, I'll get on with things.
Morning. Oh, we've had a good few hours of rain. Uh, I've just been lately listening to it. It is about 11 o'clock. It's uh, kind of stopped. So anyway, I'll pan you around here. Let's get on with things. Well, that was a good bit of rain that we had there. It's about stopped now. I've, uh, I've got a bit of work to do on that bit there. But I'll just get a tarp up uh, from outside so you stop rain coming in. Apart from that, quite chilled out in here. Well, gammon and eggs for breakfast on a smoky fire. Well, it's half past three, and uh, it just has stopped raining since breakfast. It uh, stops about five minutes, and then it's just like I'm in the So I'm just getting wet through, just hanging around here, uh, and uh, now trying to do things. I have on the build. I have managed to get the uh, camo netting on, and I've also uh, got the, the stable door on. <laughs> and, uh, I'm quite impressed that there's no leaks in there because it did come down last night, there's a lot of rain there. But see, I found a bit of dead wood up there, you know, I mean, there's a couple of trees that fell, and uh, I was going to saw them, bring them down, stack them. But see, I'm, I'm just getting wet through the process, so uh, <laughs> I might even head up home, I was going to spend another night down here if it were dry enough. But here, uh, I've got all the time in the world. So anyway, I'll get a pan round there before I go and uh, get on with things. Well, rain's just not stopping. So now I've done the best I can just to uh, so there's no leaks getting it. There's just a bit of material around there, just a bit of old fly sheet. I've got bucket on the on to take it up with any tip burner. I'm not even thinking of getting a fly sheet up. I've got me my stable door in. I have to tie that to that tree or so it comes back on itself and this one here. So this is how I'm leaving it. Uh, it's quite cozy in here actually. It looks uh, smaller than where it actually is. I say burners there. And I'm going to get off. Well, I'm going to brave the weather, it's just not stopping. And, uh, it's all battened down, tied down. Uh, all I'm going to do from this point on now is really burn wood, and there's not much wood down here. I was going to show you my Mr. Scooty uh, new ferro rod angle, walking stick come blowpipe, but uh, I'll save that till next time. So, till next time. Bye.